Hey howdy hey partners, I'm Today I Grew Up and today I have a different kind of video, Star Wars. I was not alive back in 1977 when the first original 12 figures came out, so it was always my dream to collect the original 12 Star Wars figures after watching the movies. I was never able to afford the originals because an Obi-Wan mint on card like this would go for $12,000 or more, so I never thought in a million years I would own this. I just wanted to collect the first 12 to feel like I walked into a toy store and was able to purchase them back in 1977. I did collect the first six, which I did review. If you want to see that video, click the card here in the corner of your screen. I did remove the stickers. So when I got these, I knew I was going to take the stickers off, mount them on my wall in star cases. To match the rest of my figures, I do not want this punched part. So, you know, a lot of people, collectors will be like, oh, you want to keep that because it means it's unpunched and it's never been, you know, it's completely mint. So the reason why I'm taking this off is because I want these to match the first six, I actually found them on the pegs at Target. And so I wanna replicate like I found these myself in the store. So now it does. I'd removed the retro sticker and I took this part out. So now it looks like I grabbed it off the shelf back in a time machine in 1977. Of course, they brought back the metal vac, which is really cool for C-3PO and R2-D2, but it just looks amazing. And I wanted to do a video tutorial because I haven't seen one so far on YouTube showing how to remove the stickers off this set. I'm really not sure if the brand matters, but somebody online said that this Ron Sonal, or I don't know how you say it, is a really good one to use. So this is the one I'm using. The way this works is we're just going to put a little bit of lighter fluid. I do have a cotton swab to kind of spread it around evenly. And in case I do too much, I can dry it off with another one. I'm just gonna apply the lighter fluid, let it soak into the sticker, and then I'm gonna use a guitar pick to kind of pry the edges so I don't scratch the card with my fingernails. I'm gonna put some lighter fluid on there. I'm gonna take my cotton ball and just kind of slide it around there on the edge of the sticker. Just get it nice and soaked there. You kind of want to let the lighter fluid sit as it's gonna eat up the adhesive of the sticker. But I'm gonna put more and just keep using the cotton ball. And don't be afraid to put too much. You want the sticker to really get soaked in there and then kind of dry on its own. And then after a minute or two, I'm going to take my guitar pick and start prying the edges. All right, it's been about a minute or two, and I'm going to start using this guitar pick here just to start seeing if I could pry up any of the edges here. You want to go very slow with this because you do not want to rush this process. Anything you can do to slow down, I recommend it. Do not get antsy. Do not get too ahead of yourself because... You know, there is a chance you can ruin this, and it's a very expensive retro collection. I think they range from $60 to $80 a set, so you really do not want to ruin your set. So I am going to take this guitar pick. As you can see, it's starting to glide very nicely underneath there because the lighter fluid's really eating up that glue, so it's really nice. And I recommend the guitar pick, like I said, because you can see I'm not scratching the card because... I made the mistake on the first retro set, I used my fingernail and I accidentally scratched the card with my nail being sharp. So this is a medium gauge guitar pick, it's soft plastic, kind of bendy, so it's not going to affect your card. So already you can see that there is no damage to the card and I'm just going to have to peel very slowly as you see there. And as you go, you want to reapply some more lighter fluid here and underneath there as well. And like I said, don't be afraid to get messy with it. You can always just use the cotton swab here to just dry off excess and keep spreading it around and just keep going that way. You just keep going, peeling slowly like I'm doing here. And you can see that it's working already. So don't be nervous. I was on the first card because I wasn't certain what to expect with the first card. But I'm very happy to report that, as you can see here, it is working very nicely. So keep it going very slow. And if you have any excess residue, you can just do that. Pull it back down and then pull it up and it'll take off some more of that glue residue. But I really believe this lighter fluid method works best. You know, I've seen some people use a hairdryer, which I did use before, but I think that after all it's said and done, this is going to be the best way to go. Just take your time, go very slow, 
And as you can see, it gets a little bit harder to pull up. That means you need to slow down. And if it really starts getting really hard to pull, then that's when you know, okay, it's time to add more lighter fluid. The more, the merrier, because that's what's eating up the glue adhesive and it's gonna soften that glue so we can keep pulling it up without damaging or ripping up our card here. And don't worry about excess threads from the cotton ball. All that can be taken right off, no problem. You can just see how the lighter fluid eats through that sticker really well. And we're just gonna keep pulling slowly, going back and forth there to get any excess stuff off. You can see it comes right off. And we're gonna keep going. And at the very end, we can take the whole sticker off and kind of dab the area with the adhesive to, you know, get any little pieces of glue from the sticker we missed there. And I will keep showing you the progress as I go here. At least one card completed so that you can see what I did here. These card backs are just very, very beautiful and the artwork is super nice. And it's such a shame to cover up such nice artwork with a giant retro sticker. I get why they do it, but you know, I'm chasing that originality because I can't afford the actual originals. So this is why I'm going to desperate measures to make this work for me in my collection and my display. So I'm very happy that you can do this method without damaging your card. And now it feels like you have a piece of toy history from 1977. I'm just so happy this is working and don't rush it. I know it gets exciting towards the end. Keep the consistency. Do not pull too fast. There we go. I am so happy. And now I can breathe a sigh of relief here. Now any excess here, you can see you just have to go over with the sticker this way and it cleans up kind of like any residue or little spots. And that's so beautiful, it looks so good. Here's a retro card looking nice and clean. You can see I didn't leave any residue there. I used the sticker to take any little glue pieces off, but it came out really clean. It's not wet or anything from the lighter fluid. That lighter fluid dries up really, really quickly. Actually, I'm very surprised at how fast that dries. This was always my dream to have these figures like this carded. 1977 style like I pulled them off of the shelf myself off the pegs. This is what I wanted for my collection I do have one mint in the package and I'm not going to open Stored away in my closet, but I do want to have a set to display like this These will go into star cases which will then be mounted on my wall with the rest of the original six One thing to note when doing this if you see extra residue left over after you're done Just put more lighter fluid on it use your finger to wipe it down and then use a cotton swab to continue to wipe all the lighter fluid away and that'll continually take the residue off kind of like glue gone it does work and it removes the adhesive it eats it up so you want to keep doing that use your fingers just keep putting lighter fluid eventually any cloudy film left behind from the adhesive will go away completely as you can see these card backs are very clean and there is no sticker residue on any of them so it did work and I highly recommend the lighter fluid method. You just have to be very patient, go very slow, and don't be afraid to use a lot of lighter fluid over and over again because you're gonna see that it evaporates very quickly. So now I have beautiful card backs and the full picture is shown. No more ugly stickers covering up the beautiful artwork. So they're ready to go on my wall. This is just a dream come true to have in my hands kind of like I walked into the store back in the day and picked it up myself and I don't have to pay $12,000 on eBay for the original one because <laughs> I have this now. Here they are on my wall, something I never thought I was going to see one day completed, but finally it's here. The first original 12 retro Kenner by Hasbro. I'm very thankful that I was able to get the first six. These were actually really hard to get when they first came out. I remember going to Target and the manager was trying to buy them before I was. 
that's how popular it was. And I ended up getting them without the little paper trays. I know some people online said they had little paper trays behind them, but mine didn't come with any paper, so I was very lucky. This is from not from the box set that they released later. This is from 2018, and you can see I actually got it from the shelves, so that's why they are punched. But that's why I wanted to match those with these, so I have the completed 12 set. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you like what you see here, please subscribe. There'll be more videos coming soon. I do a lot of Toy Story on this channel, but I do also love Star Wars. And I've been collecting the new Indiana Jones retro collection. So you can see here, I'm collecting that wave as it's coming. And I still have some more Star Wars stuff over here. And I'll see you partners on the next video review. You want the real Buzz Lightyear? You're, a, uh, you're an action figure. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a child plaything! Hey, Ham! Look! I'm Picasso! I don't get it.